see what we had. Remember the um, name of the ice rink changed to Lee's Family Forum? I guarantee you, Lee is this guy right here. Lee's Discount Liquor. Now, they're not going to put Lee's Discount Liquor Family Forum because that wouldn't be very family ish, do you think, guys? Tragedy, you know, we have uh, both the uh, founder of Lee's Discount Liquor, the old, old father, died in a. I'm not sure how he died. I think natural causes. Heart attack or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember. But then the son died shortly thereafter, you know, in a car wreck. And he was uh, intoxicated when he got in that car wreck. In the middle of nowhere, traveling with a van. see here I'm just trying to decide I'm, I'm having I'm just going a different route today you know what I'm saying showing you guys exactly we had an altercation at a 7-eleven here in town Reese this last couple of days altercation a guy fired a shot I don't think he was aiming at the dude. I don't know exactly what happened. Nothing happened right then. Then they came back and the the other the friend to that guy got stabbed and <laughs> the, somebody ended up getting killed because they got stabbed. Bad area of town. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I believe it was on uh, Washington and Rancho area. I know the 7-Eleven. Uh, you know, just by driving through that area. Beautiful day, kids. I'm not shitting you. Just out for a ride. Beautiful temperatures. I am getting bit by a bug now. You know, uh, <laughs> you get dry skin in this town a lot. So you scratch because of a dry skin situation. I mean, you almost think that there's like an ant, ant on you. One, one in... One in... 20 times there might be a bug on you. The rest of the time it's dry skin. Does that make sense, kids? Oh shit, we gotta cross this. We gotta cross the freeway here. Unless we do some fancy dancing. Let me just sit right here for a momentary just for a moment, till I decide what I want to do. Oh Christ, come on, douchebag. That guy's going the wrong way. be intoxicated why you would want to put a loud muffler system on a little dink ass truck like that is beyond my reckon recollections <laughs> but that's just me the fuck do I know <laughs> Let's 
let's go to the left here. We could go farther. Let me just let me meditate on it. Let me let me think about it. We're just having a good old time, just cruising, just no particular hurry. Checking out some of the new new uh here we got some tr uh, Trek bikes. They don't make anything like this. But you know what? I'll, I'll go into there. They probably got a better selection of uh, bike parts than say, say, uh, A better selection of bike parts than say REI when I need brake pads you know what I'm saying I'm gonna be probably changing my brake pads here on both of those Yeti bikes of mine and I, and I want to match them up perfect so and I, I will be flushing out the old mineral oil and putting in new mineral oil also when I do that, resurfacing the rotors, we'll be doing that also. And I believe, let's take a look at what we got here. Uptown Jungle Fun Park. EOS Fitness, how about that? Fish ride this morning. We could go deep into Henderson if we wanted to. I did get bit by a few bite bugs now. We were getting when you get closer to the cornerstone lake there, you're gonna run it, and we are reasonably close to there. You're going to run into more bugs. EOS Fitness! Whoa! There's a pair of uh, sunglasses on the road here. They look like they're pretty fucked up. And they are. Who knows? Maybe they were Maui gyms in perfect shape. Just fell off of somebody's. Just fell off of somebody or something. You know what I mean? They look cheap. Oh man, I'm just. Like I said, I was going to go for a ride yesterday when it was cloudy and a little bit of rain. The roads were still wet. But just as I got set up to go, boom, the sun came out. And then it was extremely hot, humid, nasty. I said, fuck that shit. We'll pick a better. Well, I just left everything there. The battery was in the bike. I said, I'll, I made it. I said, I will go early in the morning. I set my alarm for four o'clock. 
obviously I got up way earlier than that. I had a couple cups of coffee. And end of the day, here I am. And it is five o'clock in the morning. The sun rises about 5.35, 5.40-ish in that range. Huh, so we're just kind of just relaxing, taking a nice easy ride. We'll go down this little bike trail here. What the fuck? Maybe we'll see a coyote here. This is further away than where the problem was. So if you got a coyote here, he might be safe. Eventually, new coyotes will move into that area. Eventually. Within a year, I would say. <laughs> Probably. You see the coyotes, man, they had it made. It was a nice little refuge there for them. But they end up biting somebody. And then they got euthanized. I felt bad for them, actually. I was kind of kind of sad and then I realized uh, they, they have to be put down I mean if they're biting people pretty soon they're gonna bite a little kid you know when once they start biting people and they'll keep biting them then you have to have rabies they have to have rabies shots and shit like that I'm getting bit by bugs now we're right next to the water here at the park. All right, let's look for glass. This is a good area of town. There shouldn't be issues there, but you never know, guys. You never know. One thing about this town, it's 24 hour a day, seven day a week. You can buy liquor, beer, whatever, whatnot. And you can get in trouble if you've got an open container in your vehicle. So people throw that shit out of their car and it breaks and you got broken glass. Oh man, it's so so nice out here. I just I just cannot believe it guys and you guys are lucky you're, you're right here with me on this ride. Morning. I just don't know what to say, man. I'm just so... I am so flabbergasted. How about if I, um... Well, I can't. I rent cars. I was thinking, man, it'd be kind of nice to live somewhere else for two months. July and August. Half of September, maybe. Would that be interesting, guys? Like Cody, Wyoming, for example, or maybe, um, let me throw this other one at you. How about Custer, South Dakota? Go up there and live for two months. You know, get up there and... Oh wow, look at this shit. There were some pretty heavy rains here. So the depth of this lake is up a little bit, for sure. <laughs> A 
lot of debris and a lot of uh, garbage in the water. See anything good? <laughs> I gotta tell you, one time I collected maybe eight or ten balls from this water. You know, after a heavy rain. I was walking. Oh, I think it was on my fucking bike. And I was holding fucking three balls in my arm, four. Back in the heydays. I guarantee you there's a bunch of balls in there. Basketballs, soccer balls volleyballs all kinds of shit like that small little balls guaranteed there's a bunch of them you walk that shoreline you'll find shit like you wouldn't believe but unfortunately it's foot up full of litter the lake is full of litter right now you know, from uh, being washed in off the streets and shit, you see, you see nothing but fucking trash all over the lake. You know, hopefully you get volunteers and they'll pick that shit up. Plastic bottles, what the fuck, what not. Uh oh. Rabbit. Hopefully they'll pick that shit up. I'd, I'd love to see people out here volunteering and, and with a canoe and just picking up trash. That'd be nice. They, they, maybe they do, you know what I'm saying? Maybe people do volunteer and do shit like that. See, I could do that. I, I could volunteer and go out there with my paddleboard and pick up trash. And the cops would come, hey, what are you doing out there? <laughs> I'm volunteering, picking up trash. What the hell does it look like I'm going? <laughs> you, you're not allowed to paddleboard in this lake. Uh, come on here, I have to write you a citation. Sir, I, I'm picking up trash. For the city, city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get over here. Let me see your ID. <laughs> uh oh. What do we got here? Oh. We've got some serious. We used to have some bro broken glass in this tunnel all the time. It's good to see that. You know, they keep it clean. City truck. Henderson. Henderson City titties. Oh. Oh man, I thought that was glass. I don't know what it was. Oh man. Such a beautiful morning, beautiful temperatures. Oh man, I was looking forward to taking this the 29 are out this morning too and we sure sure enough we sure certainly did just that I'm gonna have to work on that uh, ram location it seems that it, it when you lean forward it, it grabs you it could rub against your shit you don't want that remember 
But I think I buried one of my cats right here too. If I remember correctly. I don't re remember for sure, I, maybe not. I know I buried one on the other side, but I may have buried one right here too. My, my first cat. I've got to prep a car uh, for pickup. It's parked in my driveway underneath the car cover right now. I'll have to, the windows will be a little bit dirty, so I'll have to clean the windows. And uh, basically that's it, take the cover off, clean the windows a little bit, maybe vacuum the, the uh, floor mats at the driver's side. Nothing serious. Takes him. You get him. Of course, you have to photograph the vehicle. Watch out for the wabbits. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, flooding. They close it because of flooding. Ah, there's been a couple of places it was, it's been closed. I don't think you have to fucking close it. Man. You know, you have to get some serious fucking rain. Oh, I'll be it. You see this spillway over here? I've seen it only on one occasion flowing over that spillway. That's why that spillway is lower right there. If you get a force of water coming down, it'll flow over that spillway. Then what it ends up doing is, um, you know, flooding this area down here. Like I said, you don't see it. I only seen it once. <laughs> One time where it came over this spillway right here. That's a hundred year flood, a hundred year rain, guys. When it'll come, oh boy, what the fuck we got here? What is dad a pussy? Don't want to get his tires wet? I don't want to get mud on my tires, guys. Call me a pussy if you want, but... Mud on your tires equates to mud in your face. I don't have fenders. Certainly, if you can afford it or, or avoid it, you will. You know what I'm saying? It looks like somebody broke this sat on it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>